Good day, YouTube. How is everyone today? I decided I'm going to go through here and I'm going to read the new advertiser-friendly content guidelines from YouTube. Updated June 2019. This article now includes more examples of content that will receive limited or no ads. There are no policy changes, which means you should not expect any difference in how your videos are assessed for advertiser-friendliness. So let's get into it. If you're in the YouTube Partner Program, you can monetize with ads. This article aims to help you understand which individual videos on your channel are suitable for advertisers. Our policies apply to all portions of your content, video or live stream, thumbnail, title, description, and tags. Learn more about our best practices. There's a clicky link. Our systems don't always get it right, but you can request human review of decisions made by our automated systems. Note, all content uploaded to YouTube must comply with our community guidelines. If your content violates our community guidelines, it may be removed from YouTube. If you see violative content, you can report it. What you'll find in this article You'll find some examples of content not suitable for ads and will result in limited, no ad, limited or no ads monetization state. Here are the main, all the main topics that are not advertiser friendly. Inappropriate language, violence, adult content, harmful or dangerous acts, hateful content, incendiary and demeaning, recreational drugs and drug related content, tobacco related content, firearms-related content, controversial issues and sensitive events, adult themes in family content. Inappropriate language. Content that frequently uses strong profanity or vulgarity throughout the video may be not suitable for advertising. Occasional use of profanity won't necessarily result in your video being unsuitable for advertising, but context matters. Examples not exhaustive. Category, inappropriate language. Limited or no ads will result. Profanity in the title or thumbnail image. Strong profanity used repeatedly in a hateful or derogatory way. Strong profanity used during the beginning of the part of the video. Strong profanity used multiple times throughout the video, even if bleeped or for comedy, drama, documentary, news, or educational purposes. Violence. Content where the focal point is on blood, violence, or injury, when presented without additional context, is not suitable for advertising. If you're showing violent content in a news, educational, artistic, or documentary context, that additional context is important. Violence in the normal course of video gameplay is generally acceptable for advertising but montages where gratuitous violence is a focal point is not. Examples non-exhaustive. Category. Content containing gruesome, graphic, or disgusting amounts of imagery. Blood, guts, gore, sexual fluids, human or animal waste, crime scene, or accident photos. Contact, content depicting acts of violence. Accounts or images of shootings, explosions or bombings, execution videos, violent acts committed against animals. Contact, content depicting cruelty or gratuitous violence towards animals, such as cockfighting, bullfighting, or dogfighting. Videos that contain graphic violence in the context of physical altercations, public demonstrations, or police brutality. Raw footage of war casualties with graphic depictions of injury and death, or death. Gratuitous violence against children, even if only dramatized or fictional. Hunting videos with a focal point in graphic violence, animal death, or suffering. Adult content. Adult content is content that features highly sexualized scenes Content that features highly sexualized themes is not suitable for advertising, with limited exceptions for non-graphic sexual education videos. Stating your comedic intent is not sufficient and that content may still not be suitable for advertising. Examples, not exhaustive. Category, 
sexual explicit content. Graphic sexual acts are simulations intended to arouse sexually explicit text or audio to include explicit conversations about sex. Content that may be interpreted as promoting a sexual act in exchange for compensation. Raw footage of explicit animal mating scenes. Nudity. People are representations of people that display sexual body parts such as visible genitalia, nipples, or buttocks. Content focused on sexual body parts that are blurred or censored. Body art with a focus on nudity or intimate body parts. Sexually suggestive content. Content featuring implied sexual acts. Content depicting fetishes in action or discussing fetishes. Content about sex scandals or leaking of private intimate photos or videos. Content related to the sex industry, including sex-related entertainment. Content discussing intimate sexual experiences such as masturbation, intercourse, or other sexual acts. Content featuring sex toys, sexual devices, or other products intended to enhance sexual activity. Content providing advice on sexual performance or recounting stories around performance. Harmful or dangerous acts. Content that promotes harmful or dangerous acts that result in serious physical, emotional, or psychological injury is not suitable for advertising. Examples, non exhaustive. Category Inappropriate pranks, challenges, dares, and stunts. Limited no ads. Pranks related to suicide, death, terrorism, like fake bomb scare pranks or threats with firearms or other lethal weapons. Sexually unwanted acts such as forced kissing, groping, or sexual abuse. Shows physical harm or distress but not as the focus of the video. But is not the focus of the video. This guideline applies to acts performed in non-professional, non-controlled environments. Content that includes that induces prolonged emotional distress of a minor. Body modification and medical procedures, invasive medical procedures, including cosmetic surgery, pimple popping or ingrown toenail remove, skin implant procedures, tongue forking surgery, content that threatens or advocates physical or mental harm on oneself or others, harm threatening someone with real life harm, calling for the attack of another person, harm to self harm to others, or harmed by others. Content related to suicide, eating disorders, bullying, harassment, domestic violence, or other forms of abuse and self-harm. Content that promotes the use of weapons to inflict harm on others. Content relating to cannibalism. Dangerous acts not to be imitated. Content showing the consumption of substances in such quantities that it results in a toxic reaction. Failure compilations that include graphic harm and injury. Subway or underground surfing. Rooftopping. Other challenge-based content which, if replicated, may result in harm like the fire challenge, kiki challenge, and bird box challenge. Promoting or advocating for the harmful health or Promoting or advocating for harmful health or medical claims and practices. Anti-vaccination or AIDS denialist movements. Non-medical treatments that promise to cure untreatable diseases. Content which implies serious medical conditions does not exist or are an elaborate hoax. Hateful content. Content that incites hatred against, promotes discrimination, disparages, or humiliates an individual or group of people based on the following is not suitable for advertising. Race. Ethnic or ethnic, ethnicity or ethnic origin. Nationality. Religion. Disability. Age. Veteran status. Sexual orientation. Gender identity. Any other characteristic associated with systematic discrimination or marginalization. Content that is satire or comedy may be exempt. Stating your comedic intent is not sufficient and that content may still not be ad suitable for advertising. Examples, non-exhaustive. 
Content that incites hatred against, promotes discrimination, disparages, or humiliates. Content promoting, glorifying, or condoning violence against others. Content that encourages others to believe that a person or group is inhuman, inferior, or worthy of being hated. Content promoting hate groups or hate group paraphernalia. Promoting terrorism and violent extremism. Content made by or in support of terrorist groups. Content that provokes, promotes terrorist acts, including recruitment. Content that celebrates terrorist attacks. Incendiary and demeaning. Content that is gratuitously incendiary, inflammatory, or demeaning may not be suitable for advertising. Examples not exhaustive. Content that is incendiary and demeaning. Content that focuses on shaming or insulting an individual or group. Content that harasses, intimidates, or bullies an individual or group of individuals. Content that singles out someone for abuse or harassment. Content that suggests a tragic event did not happen or that the victims or their families are actors or complicit in a cover-up of the event. Malicious personal attacks, slander, and defamation. Recreational drugs and drug-related content. Content that promotes or features the following is not suitable for advertising. Sale of illegal drugs, regulated drugs, or substances or other dangerous products. Use of illegal drugs, regulated drugs, or substances or other dangerous products. Abuse of illegal drugs, related drugs, or substances or other dangerous products. Videos discussing drugs or dangerous substances for educational, educational, documentary, and artistic purposes are generally suitable for advertising, so long as drug use or substance use is not graphic or glorified. Examples not exhaustive. Promoting substances that alter mental state for recreational purpose or otherwise induce highs. Cocaine, crystal meth, heroin, marijuana, cocaine substitutes, methadone, methadone, legal highs, bath salts. Promoting products or services marketed as facilitating recreational drug use. Pipes, bongs, cannabis coffee shops. Promoting instructional content about producing, purchasing, or using recreational drugs. Exchanging tips or recommendations on drug use. Tobacco-related content. Content pr promotes tobacco and tobacco-related products is not suitable for advertising. Examples non-exclusive, non-exhaustive. Category, promoting tobacco. Cigarettes, cigars, chewing tobacco. Promoting tobacco-related products, tobacco pipes, rolling papers, vape pens. Promoting products designed to stimulate tobacco to simulate tobacco smoking, herbal cigarettes, e-cigarettes, or vaping. Firearms-related content. Content focused on the sale, assembly, abuse, or misuse of firearms is not suitable for advertising. Examples. Not exhaustive. Promoting the sale of a firearm. Sale of a firearm. Sale of a firearm-related part or component that is essential to or enhances the functionality of a firearm, including 80% finished gun parts, ammunition, ammunition clips, silencers, ammunition belts, stocks, conversion kits, gun grips, sights, scopes, promotional content for gun stores, manufacturers or discount codes for gun stores, Instructions about the assembly of any firearms, including parts or components thereof. Firearm making instructions, guidelines, software, or equipment for 3D printing of guns or gun parts. Abuse or misuse of a firearm. Content where firearms are discharged in unsafe environments. Controversial issues and sensitive topics. Content that features or focuses on sensitive topics or events is not generally not suitable for ads. This policy applies even when the content is purely commentary or contains no graphic imagery. Sensitive events, war, death and tragedies, controversial issues, political conflicts, terrorism or extremism, sexual abuse. Adult themes and family-friendly family -friendly content. 
Content that appears to be appropriate for a general audience but contains adult themes is not suitable for advertising. This guideline applies even if the content is done for comedic or satirical purposes. Examples not exhaustive. Adult themes and family content. Content that is made to appear appropriate for general audience but contains adult themes including sex, violence, vulgarity, other depictions of children's or popular children's characters that are unsuitable for a general audience. All videos uploaded to YouTube must comply with the YouTube Terms of Service and Community Guidelines. To be able to monetize with ads, you'll need to follow the Partner Program Policies and the Google AdSense Program Policies. The end. That was interesting. This was from support.google.com slash YouTube slash answer 616-2278. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and all the things, you know. Especially if you're happy that somebody else read this for you and you don't have to do it yourself. <laughs> anyway, cheers.